or believe that money can solve anything. This is how it works. However, during traveling, I realized that overpopulation would cause terrible problems. For example, if everyone used a plastic per day, they would produce 1.3 billion plastic trash in China in simply a day. Moreover, overpopulation damage environment. Since it is such a huge burden to for environment to support people's needs. Another problem is traffic. Too many vehicles on road would it help would emit a lot of in house and cause traffic drain. What I mentioned above are problems that overpopulation would cause. These don't only happen in China, but in all the countries around the world as well. This is only uh, this is only one Earth. We humans should bring up our awareness on it. So the first problem which I'm going to talk about is environmental pollution. Population is now growing so fast and becoming such a huge thing. And the amount of garbage we made is increasing too. And that is going to influence the environment so much and seriously. And the most serious effects are water pollution and land pollution. Such as China, these two types of pollution are happening in China now. Because of their huge population, they build a lot of factories to meet their needs. And the wastewater is discharged to the river or lake, and the water of the river or lake flows to the fields and causes the fields to be too polluted to be formed. And factories also cause air pollution. But not only factories emit exhaust, transports like cars, scooters, or motorcycles do too. And more and more people drive their own cars to commute these days. So how to solve these problems? We think that government should take some measures to limit emissions of exhaust like setting up more regulations or cracking down on it. As for air pollution, we, sh we can take public transport instead of driving our own cars. It might take more time, but it is much cheaper and more environmentally friendly. Or if the distance is not that far, we can just walk to the destination. It is also good to our bodies. Otherwise, a lot of people ride electric scooters these days. It is as convenient as normal scooters, but it is more environmentally friendly.
there is not much fresh water available on the earth. And the clean drinking water is not evenly distributed. Without, without clean water, healthy life, healthy life is healthy life cannot be di discussed. Most of most of the fresh water is used in a quick culture. And the population increased, and the amount of meat is increased. Large scale from animals, most plants grow crops, and less coal, and less coal, more water is needed. Energy depletion. For modern, for modern people, energy is as important as air. For example, natural gas. Almost all modern scientific and technology civilization are related, related to is used. <coughs> after, after a great deal of exploitation and consumption, energy decreases or increases. When, when the energy depletion increases, it may, it may trigger the outbreak of energy force. Okay. Uh, in addition to above problem, the first crisis is also caused by overpopulation. The global population and food is still present in birth ratio. And this phenomenon is more and more serious. The numbers of people and the numbers of people Below the poverty line, it is more increased, and tens of thousands of poor people are starving. I tag Africa as the obvious example. The speed of supply, the speed of food supply, and
Besides their economic stretch and as their disease also cause their people die and food can supply. So if the difference between supply and demand continues to expand, the loss of people will, will become a big thing. Also, the most important, important question is how we solve those, those problems. First, we can use science and technology to develop the food which can feed our land and feed our land and not only can let our land sustainable continues to use but also can that food increase to to add. Second, we can encourage our government product our food to against market economy. Last but not least, we can we don't have waste food and as much as possible as much as possible eat we can. to say the conclusion of our team. Uh, I want to ask all of you uh, if everyone has saw the movie of What Happened to London. This movie is about uh, uh, the population, overpopulation. Uh, the start of the movie is because of the food crisis, so people eat more uh, genetically modified food. So to lead to the people who have modified birth. And let's see of the movie.
no one can solve it. And she is going to solve the problem, but everyone didn't believe her. And um, in fact, in in fact of the our uh, work, uh, China have a one child policy, and they always said a couple of a couple only can have a kid, but it's, it lead to a lot of the problem, like uh, sex racial imbalance. Because of China's traditional, um, boys are going to born the girl, boys are going to lead the family, so they want the, the kids will be boys. So everyone will everyone will want to born a boy than a girl. So somebody will take out the girls if they are baby or girls. And we our conclusion is we can slow off the overpopulation because it's a hard work, but we can remission. So we can maybe we can uh, eat somebody's in eat the food in the or we can eat the food at our our home uh, board or or we can take the bus or don't just drive it alone and we can we only can remission the world and don't but we can really solve the problem and our our report is and thank you that everyone. Last group, group uh, five. Last one.